Hi, welcome to another video. So, Google has launched their new Gemini 2.5 Pro model, and it is being rolled out by Google. This model is supposed to be their most intelligent AI model yet. They say that their first 2.5 release is an experimental version of 2.5 Pro, which is state-of-the-art on a wide range of benchmarks and debuts at number one on El Marina by a significant margin. Their 2.5 models are thinking models, capable of reasoning through their thoughts before responding, resulting in enhanced performance and improved accuracy. These models are better than O3 Mini and 3.7 Sonnet across the benchmarks, as can be seen here. On the SWE Bench Verified, the industry standard for agentic code evils, Gemini 2.5 Pro scores 63.8% with a custom agent setup, which is awesome, and better than 3.7 Sonnet, which is also awesome. It was indeed the Nebula model that was spotted on LM Arena a while back, and this is kind of amazing to see. It ships today with a 1 million token context window and native multimodality, which means that it can comprehend vast data sets and handle complex problems from different information sources, including text, audio, images, video, and even entire code repositories. The model is now available on the Gemini platform as well as AI Studio for usage. You can try it for free in these places and use it and test it. The API is heavily rate limited, but it is free, which is obviously awesome to see. And as I said, it might probably be the same Nebula model that was available on LM Arena a few days back, and it was claimed to be pro thinking, but I believe that it might just be the new 2.5 Pro model instead, contrary to many beliefs, as also confirmed by Google. I don't know if we'll get Gemini 2.5 Flash or not, but there's that. I mean, it's funny because 2.0 Pro never even came out of Experimental, and now we have 2.5 Pro. Anyway, I thought to test it as well. So, let's get started. But, before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Tools. Ninja Tools is an AI platform that combines all the best AI models and experiences at one place. It allows you to save over $600 per year compared to having separate subscriptions. You get access to Claude, 3.7 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and a ton of others models in one subscription. You even get some more cool options like AI video generation, image generation, music generation, and document chats. You can also use their playground to compare multiple AI responses at once. The best part is that it just starts from $11 per month that gives you more than 1,000 chat messages, 30 AI image generation, and 5 music generation, while there is also some even more advanced plans if you need them. Also, make sure to use my coupon code AICODEKING20 to get an additional 20% off. Make sure to check Ninja Tools out and save some money on your subscription while you're at it. Now, back to the video. Now, these are the 13 questions that I'm going to test it against. The first question is, tell me the name of a country whose name ends with Leah. Give me the capital city of that country as well. The answer should be something like Australia and Canberra. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is correct. Let's mark it as a pass. The next question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three because it rhymes with tree. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this is correct. Let's keep it a pass. The next one is, write a haiku where the second letter of each word, when put together, spells simple. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is correct. So, let's keep this a pass. The next one is, name an English adjective of Latin origin that begins and ends with the same letter, has 11 letters in total, and for which all vowels in the word are ordered alphabetically. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this one is correct. This is awesome for sure. So, 
let's keep this a pass. The next one is this pattern recognition question. The answer to this should be 1999. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, let's keep this a pass. The next one is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is correct. So, let's keep this a pass. The next one is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is correct. So, let's keep this a pass. The next one is, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, this is a pass. The next question is, create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and if we preview this, then this works pretty well. So, let's keep this a pass. The next one is, create a playable synth keyboard using HTML, CSS, JS. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And if we try to use it, then this works well, and the sounds are amazing, and the interface also looks a lot better. So, this is great. Let's keep this a pass. The next question is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's send it and see. Okay, so this looks amazing. Let's keep this a pass. The next question is, write a Python program that shows a ball bouncing inside a spinning hexagon. The ball should be affected by gravity and friction, and it must bounce off the rotating walls realistically. Let's send it and see. Here's the code, and if we try to run it, then this works well. The ball is bouncing well and with correct physics. So, this is a pass. The last question is, write a game of life in Python that works on the terminal. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And if we try to run this, then this works quite well. So, this is also a pass. Now this is the final chart, and this model is really great. Google is finally back with a new state-of-the-art model. It is not only great, but it's also really good at coding, which has been a bad suite of Gemini models. But this one is amazing at coding as well. I mean, they have really done it this time, which is amazing to see. And this model is quite amazing. I just hope that they take it out of experimental mode because it literally decimates the market for people to use it in real things because the rate limits there are quite big and the model is really good. This is super awesome and using it for free on their AI studio and stuff is pretty awesome. I mean, what else do you ever want? This model is actually amazing and I believe that it is better than O3 Mini and Grok 3 for sure, and even surpasses 3.7 Sonnet, which is all like models that came literally a month or two back. And now we have the best state-of-the-art model by Google, which I never expected. But here we are. Also, the knowledge cutoff for this model is just January 2025, which is even more awesome. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via super thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.